final match of Madrid 2006. It is a men's doubles encounter, China versus England. It will be Fu Haifeng and Cha Yun against Anthony Clark and Robert Blair. It's going to be a fabulous encounter, this. We've had single countries represented in all the previous matches. It was China, China in the women's doubles. It was England, England in the mix. It was China v China in the men's and women's. But now we have significant interest from China as well as England. Right, well, I'm very, very pleased to have with me once again Kevin Hahn, who has represented America in many Olympic Games, but also learned his badminton in China, was where he was born. He's got the inside track on the Chinese. Welcome once again, Kevin Hahn. Thanks, John. It's going to be a fabulous match to win this. No question the favourites for this one will be Fu and Chai. They are the number one seeds. They have uh, already beaten Clark and, uh, and Blair in a previous head-to-head. -head. That was uh, in November 2005. So they have definitely got the upper hand in terms of the psychological advantage. But having been here already, Anthony Clark knows what it's like to play on this final court. He was here playing the mixed doubles. He, in fact, lost to Robertson and Ems with his partner, Donna Kellogg. But I can tell you, because he's been here before, he would love to have a gold added to that silver he's already won. There's the umpire having tossed the coin to Maharu Sano of Japan. He will be accompanied by service judge Peter Cocker of Australia there on the left of screen and this will be the final match of Madrid 2006 the 15th World Badminton Championships and there is a big atmosphere here a lot of expectancy let's have a look then it's uh, Four and Chai the current ranked number one in the world both 22 years old they have huge power unbelievable uh, reach and i can tell you their athleticism is a sight to behold they are fantastic open semi-finalists in hong kong the semi-finalists in korea and the runners up in the german open let's have a look then at the uh, sorry, the uh, Clark and Blair duo, there you go, the German Open, they were runners up, 7th ranked in the world, and at the age of 28, Anthony Clark, the left-hander, has been dominant, that's in fact Robert Blair right in shot there, 25-year-old, there's Clark, he has been dominant in other matches we've seen, it'll be for the future to decide whether or not he's going to add a gold to his present silver, there's our umpire, Tomoharu Sano of Japan. We will be underway in a moment. The music will be fading shortly. And this is going to be a big, big battle. But I can tell you, I still think, although I would love to see Fu and Chai beat here, I don't think they will be. Look at this there. Previous matches against the Welsh pair, no problem. Against the Indian pair, no problem. Second page, please. In the quarters, they outmaneuvered the Indonesian pair easily. 21-13, 21-10. And then against the Danes, Ericsson and Lutgard Hansen, similar, no problem. I tell you, they are a stunning combination. Their opponents, a lot more difficult entry to this final. By in the first, Hoff and Kinderwater from Germany they had no problems with. Against the Japanese, it was a much more difficult uh, cha challenge there. Three, and then another three in the quarterfinals against the Indonesians came out on win a winning in the end in the third, 21-17. It was a similar one against Pask and Rasmussen. It was 21-17 in the third as well. There is the previous uh, record of the world uh, doubles. Gunewan and Bach of, in, of the USA actually were the winners in Anaheim. 2003, it was Danes. China haven't done this for a few years. Look at that, right back to 97. So, it will be a fascinating battle, but I tell you, if anybody's going to do it, it will be this pair in yellow. Hai Feng Fu and Yun Chai, they will be very difficult to beat. They are so confident. 
head to head very simply one love China that was the the last meeting 15-4 15-1 that is an absolute massacre that was the old scoring I can't see it changing and you can hear the Chinese crowd really getting up for this it's going to be a miracle if England and uh, through Clark and Blair can do anything they have uh, had some moments when they've been challenging the speed of the of the shuttle but we are just about to get underway and I can't see Kevin the Chinese getting beaten um, <laughs> good, good observation good prediction but uh, often they prove us wrong but uh, anyway the stacks however tells that the Chinese is gonna gonna win it today and I believe they have the skills and the weapon to win it today however it is the world championships finals so anything can happen in these finals you just never know but i can tell you this this is the gold medal that china wanted to win the most not the lady singles not a men's single they've won plenty of times but you look at the history of men's doubles they have not won in the last eight world championships they have not won a world championship since 1989 so definitely this is some a gold medal they really wanted to win and look at the crowd behind them right next to us and the whole Chinese team is right on our left hand side with the coaches officials and the players gathered together to cheer them on well Yi, Yi Yongbo who was sat next to us just before the, for the women's singles in fact was the last one to win the men's yeah. doubles Lee Yongbo together with Tian Bing Yi so that shows how long ago they won it it was back in 1989 so this is a big challenge not only for the Chinese but whether or not Clark and Blair there's Clark the left-hander whether or not he can get right on top of his game and upset the momentum of this Chinese pair that will be the secret it'll be Chai to serve and the chant is already going around Chai Yo Chai Yo and it's Chai Yun to serve Fu is the left-hander Mr. Sanu introduces him. Robert Blair, England. Well, I'm surprised. There's a lot of enthusiastic support for England here in Madrid. Oh, John, we are in Europe. <laughs> oh, I'd forgotten. <laughs> Don't be fooled by all the Chinese presence. <laughs> well, there's a lot of fun and there's a great atmosphere. Love all. of court first point China So well left by Tayo. What a good point. That was a super, super piece of net play. A great rally there. And the English level it at twos. Yeah, you're going to hear his voice a lot because I tell you, we have got a very vociferous Chinese supporter right behind us here at courtside. You can take over commentary soon. That was a good piece of play from Robert Blair. Picked up that long serve very quickly and fired it into the body. Threes. And 
a good inside out from Clark. He didn't have the chance to play like that in the mixed doubles earlier. But that was a very good shot for 4-3. for 5-3 and it makes such a difference when two nations are playing against each other you can feel the atmosphere it's now building the tension is definitely now significant Good net play by Chai. Levels at five. And now they take the lead. Three points in a row for the Chinese pair. Momentum. And another one, four in a row. Oh dear. And suddenly, from a, a very advantageous position, the English have lost five points in a row and it's now 8-5 China. <laughs> no chance. No chance. Absolutely no chance. Uh, they've just got into their stride, they've got a rhythm, they've got a pattern and just look at that. 307 <laughs> kilometers per <laughs> hour. Well, we know that Fu is the biggest hitter in the world. What's the 336, is it? 332. 332. Yeah. 332 kilometers an hour he's registered. And the left hander in service now. We're going to see some big, big hits as this match progresses, I'm sure. There's oh, one. Okay. There is one. Wow. <laughs> that is big. 274. Well, it's not as fast, but my gosh. 10 5. That is seven points in a row. And it's in. It's eight points in a row. They come to the break at 11 5, and that is quite amazing. Extraordinary. The Chinese crowd and supporters are just beside themselves with, with pride here, no doubt at all. 11-5 after six minutes, and they were five, three down at one stage. And now we saw there Li Yongko was uh, coaching the Chinese duo. He's the last person to win the world crown in the men's doubles. And if, if you can't take any instruction from a former world champion, you can't take it from anybody. The Chinese love it. Let's have a look at it. It is so, so interesting, these stats. Flash winners easy for Chai. Net winners, unforced errors, 6-2 to Clark and Blair. And that is why it's 18 points in a row and they're continuing. It might make it nine this one. And they have, that's nine in a row. It's 12 points to five. This one could be over very quickly. The signal there behind the back. Easy, and it's oh, yeah. it's a procession. Thirteen five. 
Well, John, the difference in this game was in the beginning, the English team kept it so well with the Chinese team, but uh, Fu and Chai just took over the net. Didn't give any, didn't, didn't, didn't even give them any chance to get up and down. You know, just wait all the points at the net and just smash their way out. Well, they've now got an unbelievable record of 11 points on the drop. Consecutive point winners, 11. Extraordinary. It's broken at last. Woof. Dear, oh dear. 11 points in a row to China. Three in a row for England. They took the first three points, but it is still a shake of the head from Anthony Clark, and you can understand why. They just can't get into this. Fu and Chai are just totally dominant. Well, we've said it throughout the week, Kevin, as we, every time we've seen them play, the Chinese duo just have the perfect bodies, the perfect combination. Absolutely. Left hand and right hand. And even the net is with them. Yeah. You know, you, you, when you want to watch MCF, you, everything has to go with it. You know, you can crowd, the coaching, the right draw, and the right wing as well. 16-6. Yes, at last. <laughs> the crowd loved that one. It was a brilliant rally. Whoever won the point, it didn't matter. It was just such an entertaining rally. 275 was the speed of it. And at 716, I think this game is already lost. But it was a fabulous rally. Blair now with the serve. It's in and it's a good one. Beautiful deception by uh, by Fu Haifa. Look him totally. <laughs> it uh, made it. Uh, uh, clock went to the other direction before she, he even decides to move. And he went for that. Did Fu, but uh, the first time at the net, he misses one. Look at this. Intercept. Now he comes in. Oh, that was a really high percentage shot he attempted. It's out. It's well left. It's brilliantly red for 18-8. Wow. It really is so fast. Not only are they up for this match, they have done so much training in pre preparation for it. Supreme athletes. And they just can't get away from that dominant position at the net. Again, Fu puts it to ground. It's 19-8. And the English are going to wonder what's hit them. First error by Chai at the net. Service over. 9-19. Great touch there for 20-19. That is game point in such a short space of time. We can't believe it. It's excellent work. It's full with the service. Left hand at the net. And it is the first game in very, very rapid time. 21 points to nine. And that was an absolute exhibition, a master class in men's doubles. 12 minutes only it took, 21-9. We knew they hadn't been bothered hitherto. It's been a struggle for Clark and Blair to get this far. I don't think they're going to go any further. <laughs> great comment, John. I mean, the Chinese team just gave us a great show in the first game. And it totally dominated at the net. And it uh, leaves the Indonesian, leave the uh, English team has no chance. Let's have a look at the story of that uh, game. There we 
you go. Smash winners easily to Fu and Chai. Unforced easily to Clark and Blair. Well, I, I think they were more forced errors than unforced errors. Yeah, right. For sure. Fu and Chai, most consecutive points. That's outrageous. 11 in a row. Extraordinary. Well, it's a brilliant, brilliant uh, game played there by Fu and Chai. You can't take anything away from them. I mean, I mean okay. I have been accused of a little bias in my life, but Second and I game. am English, but you oh, you have to hand it to them. Right. Fu Haifeng and Chai Yun are magnificent. <laughs> Big hits. Same result. One love. 324 kilometers an hour. Oh, wow. That is without question the fastest we have seen this week. That is venom. Blair gets one back at the net. And the English getting some sympathetic applause here, but by golly, they're under the cosh. They are under severe pressure. Well, John, this just tells you how much pressure they are being under. You know, Blair has to make a perfect mesh out. Otherwise, anytime he lifts it, you know, he just sees full high from the back. That's not a very good sign. <laughs> and again, it's too much for Blair. Three, one. Three, one. And they, they're not happy. They're making notes, but the English bench there, Julian Robertson, I'm sure they know the fate of this one. Oh, Clark did his best to keep in the rally. But you can't do anything against that speed and that anticipation at the net. Extraordinary. 286, that one, just from that short punch drive. 4-1. You're absolutely right, they are up for this one, aren't they? They want yep. this one more than any other final. Extraordinary. Well, that wasn't very clever from Chai, that uh, backhand return. Blair was right over that one. 2-4. Oh. Could have gone, it didn't go. When you need the luck, you can't buy it. 5 2. And again, if Anthony Clark loses it, the team lose it. He has had some great matches during this tournament. But they're relying on him so much, this duo. He's got to keep the shuttle in play. 6-2. This time he makes it. Little rollover, very, very aggressive at the net. He's a little terrier. 3-6, Blair serve. Great rally, super rally, still going, still going, but beautiful finish there, oh, Chai Yun, and the crowd love it, look at them punching the air, <laughs> they've travelled a long way, it's, a, it's quite a trip from Beijing to Madrid, let me tell you. <laughs>
<laughs> Absolutely. You, you, you put it right on it. You know, Chai Yun, he covers the net so well. That's the combination Chinese team wanted. Chai Yun in the front and Fu Haifeng in the back. 7-3 as they take an unscheduled stop at the pits. A little towel down. It's a frenetic pace. You know, we see some Spanish crowd. I don't know where they're from. They're going away the Chinese crowd, cheering the Chinese team on. Seven, three, play. Well, there's uh, Youngbo, who is on the right of uh, the shot there. That cutaway. We're back in play at 7 3. Ah! And now at 8 3. I tell you what, they're good showmen, aren't they, Fu and Chai? They really do get the audience, get the crowd really fired up. Very, very exciting watching them play. Very good showman, as you say, you know. Just that uh, their speed is just so high, and the English team is trying to cope with their speed, but somehow just not able to. You know, definitely outspeeded by the Chinese right now. At 9-3, whatever they try, the English duo, look at that, a little bit off balance, but he thought he had a good shot there. Frustration for Blair. 9-3. Out of court for 4-9. Four, 4-9. Nine. Four, nine. Well, something sensational has got to happen if this match is going to continue much longer. Clark has got to come up with one of his runs. Four or five points would do it right now, but I don't think he will. Oh, and that's why I don't think he will. That left-handed high fung, high lift, High quality, any other high you want to mention, I tell you what, that at 10-4 was brilliant. It's long, but only just 5-10. My goodness me, that was a lovely roll over the net as they go to the halfway in this second game. 11-5. It's the same score as before. <laughs> Everything's going their way. The Chinese duo are just so confident. Everything they try is working. Look at that. Seven minutes to the half in the second game. Too good. I mean, at some stage in your life, you just got to say, too good. Well, yeah, and also that, you know, especially being the finals of the World Championships, and uh, there's so much dominance, there's so much on top, that just, made, that just makes that much special. Let's have a look at it. Smash winners, easily China. Unforced errors, no, definitely to Blair and Clark. And second point, only 3-1 this time, but uh, the score is the same as the first game, 11-5. Photographers concentrating on the Chinese because that's where the big story is going to be. I'm absolutely certain of it. Blair is struggling. 12-5. Shake of the head. His confidence is blown. Clark is left to him to try and rescue something. Yeah, which she does well there. 6-12. 6-12. Well, I said it before, and it's even more important now. If Clark does not get some consecutive points, it's all over. It's a chance for one. A great defense, and that could have been out of court. It was played on. Goal! <laughs> well, in the end, it was a little bit of juggling that didn't work for the Chinese duo. you got to be lucky sometimes. 7-12. <laughs> Needs about five more of those, those points. Oh, gosh, that was just flying. Oh, I fall. Just flew to the net. Look at that. Coming in on top of the net. 
so fast. You can't train for this either. If you don't have players that are not as good, there's no way that you can actually train. You can only do it in tournaments. And then, if there's a big gap in skill level and confidence like there is here, it ain't going to help, is it? Nope. So, 13-8. 8-13, it'll be Robert Blair to serve. He'll remember this match but not for all the right reasons, and there is another good example of why. Look at the Leon boy smiling in the back. He knows after, what, 17 years, you know, the men's gold medal title is uh, within reach. Just seven points worth of reach. Now six points worth of reach, it's gone to 15-8. Well, I'd love to defend them a little bit, but I'm afraid <laughs> Clark and Blair are being outclassed. The first mistake we've seen for quite a number of points, but it won't make any difference. There's such a gap in talent here and such a gap in points. It's 9.15. Is it yours? No, it's mine. Oh, we'll leave it to the commentator. <laughs> wow. Just have a look again. Both players were on their backhand side down the centre, which is a very dangerous thing to have. 16-9. 17-9. Four points for the World Championship. And as you so rightly said, I didn't notice him earlier, but Lee Yongbo is it enthusiastically clapping every point here. Oh. Well, they've improved. Oh, no. 89. Wow, 89. Off and everything is going their way. Extraordinary. I, th I was just about to say, well, the English have broken through to the double figures, but uh, for the first time in the match, it didn't happen. 18-9. They have now 10-18. 288 k there. But it was into the net. Loads of chances to win this now for China. There's one of them. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> 19-10. Well, the closing stages for all of us here in Madrid. We are witnessing live the men's doubles, the final of the finals. Service over. 11-19. As it touches, 12-19. 19. 19. 12-19, it's a change of uh, change of shuttle. You don't hear the hear the tap from the English guys, but that's out, and that's a terrible mistake by Robert Flair. He had the real chance there to get to 13. He hasn't. It's now match point, championship point, and it will be a big point, as you so rightly said, Kevin. First time in 19 years that uh, China have the world at their feet with the men's doubles. It ain't happened yet, quite, 13-20. The celebrations in the Chinese camp are stalled, but not for long. And look at the audience, the Chinese supporters on their feet already. Championship points, seven of them. Blair with the serve. And that's 18-20. 
it! China, the pair of Fu Haifeng, Chai Yun have won the men's doubles here in Madrid. The World Championship is theirs. 21-9, 21-13. They are absolutely delighted. Oh, and Anthony Clark was left at the net there looking for the handshake. It didn't come. Chai has already gone over to his coach, Lee Yong Bo, to celebrate there. And I can tell you, they are absolutely delighted with that. We will get a little bit of an interview in a couple of moments, but in the meantime, it's all smiles for Haifeng and Chai. Look at that, 12 and 15 minutes it took them, 27 minutes in total. That, for a world, world title, is extraordinary. Fu Haifeng and Chai Yun were fantastic. What says you, Kevin? I mean, they absolutely dominated this match. They are fantastic. They're so fast and furious. You know, there's nothing you can say much about these two players, this pair, and the look at all the Chinese supporters and their teammates on their feet. And I'm sure this is the title they will win, they, they wanted to win the most. Look at this, this is the match how it went, it's easy for the Chinese. 19-8 with smash winners, 22 unforced errors for Clark and Blair, that was the story of it. 42 rally points won out of, of uh, 22 to Clark and Blair. There's no doubt whatsoever that that was an annihilation, a brilliant, brilliant performance by the Chinese.